Hello Inner Sorceress. Welcome to the second day of the Force Summit 21. My name is Georg and I will take a look back on the last year of the Commons and I have the distinct pleasure to say thank you to so many of you who worked hard this year to make the Commons a success. So let's do a quick community health check and see how we've been doing this last year. Let me fire up the community ECG and pipe in some community metrics. Let's see. Aha, we have a heartbeat. Our community summits. Nice. Boston, Geneva, Chicago, Stuttgart, Islandia, Galway, Baltimore. Two per year roughly so far. Oh no, what is happening in 2021? It looks like atrial fibrillation, doesn't it? I think we need more data. So let's have a look at the Slack activity metrics for a second. And aha, the picture gets clearer now. We can clearly see that how our events are the drumbeat of our community. And it would seem that we have somehow increased the pace in 2021. Looks like some good cardio, actually. Okay, so what actually happened in 2021? Let's have a look together. And let's begin with the patterns group. Uh, this working group has been founded on the summit 2016 in Boston and their goal is basically to codify best practices of inner source in the form of patterns. And in the first four years they have collected and structured a good list of patterns of different maturity levels. We have 15 level 1 patterns and 19 level 3 patterns at the end of 2020. In 2021 alone we collected 13 more level 1 patterns and one more level 2 pattern. That's just great, I think. And by the way, the level 2 patterns are the ones which we publish in our free online book at GitHub. And that seems to be very valuable as a resource for our practitioners. We're seeing about 500 unique visitors per month and each visitor is on average looking at three patterns per visit. And these here are the guys uh, who were running and contributing to the patterns group in 2020. And this is what it looked like in 2021. Wow. Special thanks go to these guys here who contributed new patterns to the catalog in 2021. And these three fellows here for their outstanding reviews, additions to existing patterns or help with structuring our catalog. Well done. The go-to persons of the patterns group here are Johannes and Sebastian and kudos to you two too for forming such a productive working group. And on to the next working group, the learning path working group. The goal of this working group is to provide videos and workbooks introducing and explaining the most important concepts behind inner source. There's one providing a general introduction and three videos introducing the most important roles of inner source, trusted committer, contributor, and product owner. And as you can see, we've already put together a nice number of translations over the past years. And check out what happened this year. Four new translations for the introductory video, two new translations for trusted committer, three for contributors, and another three for product owner. That's very cool. And here are our contributors for 2020. And here are our 2021 contributors. Nice. Kudos for special contributions go to Tom, Igor and to Yoshitake. By the way, it turns out that doing translations is a really nice opportunity for everyone to make your first contribution, to learn about inner source at the same time and make inner source more accessible to a potentially very large number of practitioners. Here are the go-to persons for the learning path group. That's Russ, Johannes, Tom and Igor, who were really thrilled, joined the group of maintainers recently. Kudos Igor for that. And on to the last working group, the marketing and outreach working group, which was established in early 2020. Their mission is to move the needle when it comes to inner source in terms of our community's health, support for our practitioners and the promotion of success stories in the industry. And boy, have they moved the needle this year. Look at our Slack stats. They are continuously growing since the marketing working group is active. And that is just fantastic.
Uh, one way they did this is by introducing the rather successful community calls this year. For sure one of the major reasons for the growth that we have seen this year. But there are more reasons. So we now have a really informative, well-organized and frankly fantastic looking community website. And you can find links to all the materials, our books, recordings of our events and more on that website. And we have this great website thanks to Dimitri who, by the way, secretly started working on this during his Christmas holiday in 2020. Dimitri, you, sir, rock. We also started a collaboration with the FinTech Open Source Foundation in a special interest group with the help of the Linux Foundation. And there's lots of good stuff coming from that group as well. We also have been present on a number of third party uh, events this year. All Things Open, FOSS Backstage, Open Source and Business and Ireland's Innovate Island. And we've even had an appearance in a podcast this year. And members of the Inner Source Commons have also been invited to keynote on a number of company internal events at American Express, Santander, Seagate and Philips. And on top of all that, the Marketing and Outreach Group has also kickstarted our sponsorship program this year. We now have three fantastic sponsors on the partner level. Shout out and big thank you to Bitergia, GitHub and Microsoft for partnering with the Commons and helping us making InnerSource successful together. In addition to that, we have also found five sponsors on the supporter level for the foundation. Shout out to Comcast, GitLab, Indeed, Santander and Europace. We are really glad you're with us. So as you can see, our marketing outreach group has been really hard at work in 2021 and it does show, doesn't it? And here are the contributors of this working group. Special thanks go to Claire, who kickstarted this working group, Christina, Daniel, Dimitri, Katie and Sebastian for their continued uh, contributions this year. For the marketing and outreach group, Claire is the person to talk to. And speaking of Claire, she has recently and officially started the position of executive director at the ISC. And I think it's fair to say that Claire is the architect and the driver of our marketing and outreach efforts. And therefore, I think a special kudos is in order for Claire. Thanks so much, Claire. We're glad you're with us. And now I have the honor of hopefully starting a new tradition in the Commons, the annual Outstanding Contributors Award. We would like to thank three contributors who contributed above and beyond what is common in the Commons. And our first contributor for 21 is Wait for it, Dimitri. I've already mentioned Dimitri before for the outstanding website that we now have. Those of you who joined the last virtual summits will also remember that Dimitri was the MC on those summits and I think helped us all make our Corona blues disappear for a little while at least. And on top of his activities in the marketing and outreach working group, he also contributed to the learning path. Thanks so much, Dimitri. Well deserved. Our second outstanding contributor is Sebastian. <laughs> Maybe you've noticed it already. Sebastian is a consistent contributor in all our working groups and he's leading the patterns group together with Johannes too. He's also fostering a lot of contributions to the community through his presence in the donut talks, which we use to get to know each other better in the community and to foster working relationships. In that sense, Sebastian is a true spearhead for the community. Kudos to you, Sebastian. And our third outstanding contributor in 21 is... Faye One. Faye is also active in two working groups, uh, the Patterns Group and the Marketing and Outreach Working Group. And she has made an especially valuable contribution to the Patterns Group, the Patterns Map, which makes our collection of patterns much more accessible than it was before. She also contributed a lot of insights that drove the strategy of the marketing and outreach working group and make sure that we provide practical advice, not only on the organizational level, but also for our practitioners. Hats off to you, Faye, and well done. And as a little thank you to the three of you, you will receive a really nice and high quality one of a kind hoodie. Well, three of a kind, I guess now. And we hope we get to see them in the upcoming community calls. And with that, the look back for 2021 is complete. Thank you very much for listening. 
and let's move on with the second day of the summit but not before we close out with our customary salute may the inner source be with you